In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt. But I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If If today today you you hear hear his his voice, voice, harden harden not your your heart. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If If today today you hear his his voice, harden harden not not your heart. Oh, that today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where our fathers tempted me, they tested me though they have seen my works. If If today today you you hear hear his voice, voice, harden harden not your your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth 
about anything for which they are to pray. It shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. When someone misses the mark with us and our relationship is dinged because of something they intentionally said or did against us, it hurts. But the hurt goes two ways. It hurts us, and believe it or not, it hurts the one who sinned against us. We don't often think about this second wound that's inflicted in the heart of the person who has hurt us. Today, the living and effective Word of God in Holy Scripture calls us to take responsibility for this second wound in the heart of the person who has hurt us. In particular, Jesus places the responsibility for reconciliation in our own hands. St. Augustine tells us that Jesus calls us not to overlook one another's faults, not so that we can go around blaming one another, but so that we may be bearers of the message of reconciliation. The Lord speaking to the prophet Ezekiel in particular is particularly clear about this in the first reading. The Lord says to the prophet, If you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, I will hold you responsible for his death. Jesus calls this person who wrongs us your brother and thereby establishes a more familial context for our bringing up the sin to the person who has sinned against us. We should desire the good for this person who is our brother or sister in the Lord through baptism who has sinned against us. And we should seek to help them experience reconciliation within their own heart for the harm that they have done. But if we fail to do this, the Lord tells us, I will hold you responsible for his death. What kind of death? The spiritual death brought on by our brother or sister's sin against us. The original language is actually very strong here, telling us that our brother or sister's blood will be on our hands. We will be considered guilty for allowing our brother or sister in the Lord to continue in their sin against us without confronting them about it. So how should we go about doing this? St. Augustine guides us, writing that our rebuke should be in love, not eager to wound, but anxious to amend. Again, our message is the message of reconciliation. We're not bringing up the sin so to blame the other person. We're bringing it up to help the other person experience the healing and peace that come from reconciliation with God, with us, and within themselves. Too often, many of us choose to avoid this type of confrontation. We do this because it's uncomfortable or because we fear the reaction of the other person and some sort of harm that they might be able to press upon us for having brought their sin up, uh, up before their eyes. The call of love urges us on to overcome these fears of discomfort and a negative reaction. For the good of the soul of our brother or sister who has sinned against us, we are obliged by God to have this difficult and maybe uncomfortable conversation. So take a moment at some point today and call to mind any past hurts you may have suffered from a brother or sister in the Lord. As you call this person or these people to mind, resolve with the help of God's grace and for the good of their souls to speak to them about the wrong that they did against you. If they don't listen during this first conversation, bring another or two others for a second conversation. And if they don't listen even then, involve the church. If they don't listen then, continue to pray that the Lord may soften their heart to receive the message of reconciliation. The call of love urges us on for the good of their soul to go through these steps. In this way, we can be bearers of the message of reconciliation, which has been entrusted to us.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting that God hears us as we pray, let us now present him with our prayers and petitions. For bishops, priests, and deacons, may they, may they who labor to faithfully share the good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil servants who strive to end the racial inequality and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffered painful loss in the events of September 11, may they find comfort in the promise of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and the unemployed, for all who struggle to make ends meet, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, especially the seriously ill in our parish, Lee Bebko, Rick Prouse, Aleda Leva, Alex Yu, Bernie Kelly, Len Campana, Lise Onofre, Rosie Aguilera, Linda Rodriguez, those affected by the pandemic and all those named on our prayer wall, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially the recently deceased in our parish, Clara Sissini, Irish Wardell, Ray Pardy, Yolanda Ray, Angel Lucas Gregorio, and those named on our prayer wall, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we trust that you hear us as we present these prayers to you. Hear these prayers and the ones we hold in the silence of our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not be made a judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for me protection of mind and body and in eternity. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.